I'm not sure. Easy, easy. Come on. Man. Easy, easy. Ah. Remember those calves that we couldn't catch? I was being way too greedy and wanted to catch them all and had most of them pinned up but couldn't get them worked. We got them pinned up. Uh, Kevin's got them trained, got them pinned up right here and they're making their way over here, right here in this long pin. So this pin is actually a great way to catch a bison. But what Kevin and I are gonna do today is, um, well, this evening, pretty quickly, it shouldn't take us very long. We're gonna get these calves worked. They need to get worked and uh, we wanna get all the animals settled down before uh, the mamas start having babies, which is very soon. That's why we try to get our animals worked as soon as possible. I'm gonna put the GoPro on my chest this time to see how it goes. Um, I, it's been a while, it's been a couple years since I've done that, but I don't have all my buddies here helping me film and uh, when it's just Kevin and I, our hands are full. So we're gonna get these little yahoos taken care of and uh, I'm gonna bring you along right here um, from this view and hopefully uh, you can see it all. See what I go through, me running around and whatnot. So maybe a little bouncy and whatnot, but it's kind of some um, raw footage for you to kind of get a view uh, from where I'm at um, whenever we're working bison. So these little boogers move really quick. So uh, you gotta be on your toes when you're working with them. They're not very dangerous and won't hurt you that bad. Um, you'd be surprised how strong they are, but they are quick. So you gotta get these little guys worked. Go, go, go. Go, go. Who it? Do you know who that is? I can't tell who it is. Okay, no problem. He was. I'm not sure. Uh, Five, twelve. That's good. Okay. One of the ones I was going to keep. Yep. Take some off. Oh, I got gotcha. you. He getting it low or high, Dustin? Okay. Ready when you are. Front leg? Yeah. Huh? Right there. They're sagging down on us. So I'll have her stuff ready. Okay. Are you ready? Yeah. Go. 
You'll have to open that gate, Kevin. Okay. Both of those gates. We can just hold her in there, I guess, right there in the alley. No, Maya. Maya. Nope. Nope. Easy. Easy. Scared. Scared. Good. Easy. What happened? I don't. I, I didn't. I didn't latch it. It's my fault. I didn't latch it. This is a uh, little uh, flows. This is flows, baby. I hate that they go full bore and right into that. Put a solid piece on it. Yeah. 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 You're right. It's always interesting working calves. Uh, I know that for sure. Um, and it is when there's only two people and and uh, with the system over there, we, we do the best we can with it and we've made some adjustments on it. But I think the, the new alley with the two four foot sliding gates has been awesome. And um, it's really, it's worked really well for us. Yeah, we were able to get uh, new tags in their ears. You probably saw me doing some of that. Uh, I had to cut the old tags off and we just reuse the hole in, a, um, in their ears, basically. And, and what we do, and some people do it different, but for heifers, uh, we put the tag in their left ear, and for all the bulls, we put it in their right ear. Some people do it different, that's just what we do. Every producer is different, but I got them worked, um, and so we've got all of our animals taken care of for the spring 2022 vaccinations, and we'll do all this in the fall, and hopefully, We'll have a nice system set up over here, hopefully, with a hydraulic squeeze chute. That is the goal. That is something we're currently working on. Right now, I'm obviously at the Ponderosa hanging out with these calves here. You can tell they're getting very used to me, which is awesome. These are Dakota Pure calves. Um, Wolverine calves have, haven't quite got so close to me yet, but uh, they're slowly getting there. Um, but... Uh, Anyways, guys, you can uh, check out our website, and um, you can uh, check out, we've got uh, the bison sticks, bison the jerky, and our meat line, and you guys have probably already realized it by now, but we do have a new shirt right here. If you've been following me along for a while, then you probably know where this inspiration came from. It came from one of my favorite movies of all time, and it has lots of these guys in it. So you guys can get this shirt right now. It's at crosstimmersbison.com. We'll see you guys soon.